Hello everybody, this is Budrich. It's a new video. We call it Sublime Text Essential Packages number one project manager. Uh, and number one, it's the number one. It's the first uh, the video where I will show an essential package for Sublime Text. And this I start with my um, one of my absolute favorite packages. It's truly great. Uh, I have it prepared here. Uh, oh, I didn't prepare it because I need to remove it first here now so the video will be good. There were, were some um, problem with the recording so it didn't get recorded correctly. So d pretend nothing is happening here. Whatever. Here we have, um, I have uh, browse to project manager in package control. Just search for it here in package on package control.io. You can see the address at the bottom left corner uh, in the status bar because who needs an address bar, right? Um, project manager helps you manage and organize your projects. Um, it is inspired by Atom's project manager haven't looked at this actually, uh, but Atom's project manager is inspired by the built-in Sublime Text project manager. So there is a circular reasoning here. And uh, yeah, this is typical in, in this text editor world that one editor creates a function, another editor copies it, improves it, and then someone makes a package for the first editor and so on. So it's hard to say who uh, uh, which editor is best because features like this but this package is this package is is top notch the, the maybe my favorite super easy to use let's see here what atom says yeah it looks looks exactly the same almost whatever whatever let's install this package that i just removed you go open up the command palette, control shift P, search for install package, hit enter, search for the package you want to install, project manager, hit enter there, and it will get installed. And we can probably see that I think there's like statistics here, and we can see Linux red. I bet that 70% <laughs> of these Linux installs is from me because I have done this uh, over and over again sometimes for recording the videos and sometimes for for making my budline package so i have installed this uh, <laughs> a lot of times but whatever now it's installed we can see it here in our package packed directory which is this uh, directory you know in um, this is the sublime text 3 directory in the dot config folder in our home folder here we have installed packages those are packages installed with package control packed in zip format named sublime package we could extract project manager here by just uh, extracting it because we have this extract sublime sublime package package and then we can see project manager here uh, the readme file is the same thing as we saw on the home page um, but we have some other uh, interesting things here this package is a bit different because it stores many like the key map files and such in a directory called support here. Uh, but here we can see the Linux key map. Control Alt P is the command to bring up uh, the project manager. I should also say I'm, I have made some minor change, changes here since the last uh, video. I have cleared our uh, key map file located in the packages sublime directory and this we, we created this sublime directory just to have our settings file in a way that so it doesn't get over uh, written and out of formatted which sublime does by default and here I have copied the default settings into this uh, file here and I also have this blank key map files where we can add our custom key maps then I have removed the, the key map file from the user directory, which is the default place for where Sublime places uh, the key map file. For example, if I go into the menu here, select key bindings, and then I just add a, a user key here now, that will create a file in the user directory. But I, I actually don't, I, I prefer to have that file 
here instead. Maybe this is stupid because if you by mistake open do this then it will get created and you will have duplicate uh, uh, settings files. But whatever, I, this is just to have it logical in, in, in the project here. So let's delete this default Linux schema file. Delete, yeah sure. Uh, that's a change I have done and I have also uh, created inside user directory here I created a directory called projects this will uh, automatically get cr uh, created by by project manager and I have saved the sublime project uh, that we created in the last video here this is a junk file that should be removed whatever so if you just follow now from the last video do do these steps if you want to be on the exact same page here <clears throat> okay 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 so when you have installed a new package i re really recommend Control shift p uh, command palette and search for the package project manager in this case and then you you often get a list of, of all the commands that are available for you we can see that only one of them is bound to a key binding Control alt p uh, and this will override the default control alt p which is uh, choose projects i think i showed you briefly in the last video what that does but now we get if i click here now it will bring up a menu with all our projects files uh, which it uh, finds in this directory here projects and we can select sublime and yeah that is the project we are in so let's create another uh, project just to to demo this uh, let's see config and then just take some random directory here, uh, gtk3 whoops, I didn't meant to do that remove from project, first we need to close this project and I actually would like a key binding for this close project thing here so close project then we, we have a clean project because we want to create a new one and we just add this gtk3 and uh, we can open command palette and now we use project manager to add new project uh, and then it will suggest a name for this project uh, we can call it gtk3 with capital we can call it whatever whatever we want here hit enter and that that will just create that project we can see the project name in in the title bar here and if i now hit Control alt p we will get the list of both these projects like this we can also go in here and see that we have a edit project here now uh, uh, the sublime project is open but i can open this edit project that will also bring up a list of all projects and i can if i select gtk3 here now it will open the project file for gtk3 but we will not leave the sublime project um, and this project file as i said that is located inside uh, here in user uh, projects meaning we have it here in uh, settings packages I named that in the uh, uh, project file and here here we can see that project directory we have gtk3 this file and we also have sublime project which is the project file for the sublime project itself and I think we we should make some some modification to our project file here now because I like to move this file uh, or this directory out in the uh, root of the project tree here we can easily do so uh, by mm -mm -mm. let's do this we get some more screen estate uh, name settings packages user sure. uh, let, let's just do this copy this We can put it here or some, something. We can we can move it later. Uh, exclude. Don't need that. Then we can call this projects. And the path is projects. Save here. Now we can see that we have a projects directory here in our <laughs> project, and we have the same directory here in settings packages. Mm so i would actually like to exclude that uh, folder from our uh, settings packages here you can see i also added some um, package control uh, 
files here. If I comment these out, you can see that in settings packages we have these just contains like control files for package control. We have control last run here, package control merge, blah blah blah. I added these rules to just uh, ignore those files from the project. I recommend you do so too. And then we have this folder exclude patterns here. Here we can just add projects and now that is not visible here. Now we only have the setting files here for package control and preferences. We don't have the setting file for project manager yet. Uh, we could do this uh, because we, we have it here extracted project manager. We have project manager sublime settings so this also have a setting file. Uh, and if we want it inside our user uh, settings file uh, directory, this directory, you could either copy it directly from the project manager uh, setting file here. That's one ID. But sometimes it's actually easiest to do it this way. I, I have a, a even better way that I will show you in the end of this series. Uh, but let's do it like this now. If I select settings here now, that will probably bring up an extra window. And this is the thing, sometimes you get a window, here package control, this will open in tabs because it has separate uh, items for default and user. So if I select settings user for package control, that will bring up that file in, in a tab here. But when, when the menu uh, only have uh, a settings like this, then you will get both the setting, uh, the, the user and, and the default settings in, in the same file. And I like to do this. And now, since we have extracted this package, normally this is read only, but it's not now when we have extracted it. I like to just move it to this user. And now we can see here in this directory here in, in our project and also in our user directory here, when I save this file, it will get created in, in this location. There, and now we have project manager. Now we have, uh, and you see now, every time we install packages, most of them have a uh, uh, setting files so that's why I like to ex uh, be, be a bit uh, anal and exclude all um, all all uh, uh, unnecessary unwanted files like this and that means that I, that I really that, that I often open this um, mm, edit, edit my project like this I select this uh, edit sublime project and, and fix it every time I, I edit the project. <coughs> and what I wanted to, to uh, come to is uh, that I would like to make a key binding for editing the current project. So how can we do that since that is not, uh, there is no uh, key binding defined by default. If we look into the default package here and sublime uh, key map there is no edit uh, project, believe it or not, in all of these 1 million uh, key bindings here. But if we look into our default package again, we can see I, I've saved a couple of more files here that's interesting. This default sublime commands uh, file. Here we have the, the project commands and this, this is actually the entries that show up in the, the if I write here project colon and that's a good way also to know that you can if, if you end with a colon like this then it will sort the list uh, yeah you get it and here we can see project close project add project edit project refresh project save all and so on but then we also have all these project manager which uh, many of them does uh, the same things and stuff so it, it, it I like to remove these commands uh, the default commands that I don't that I will never uh, use anymore now that I have project manager and you can easily do so by just comment them out here and the only one that I uh, like to use is uh, yeah maybe close can stay also but this save as add folder and refresh folders I will not use anymore so we can comment them out save and control shift P search for project yeah maybe you don't see it now but these uh, items are actually yeah, we only have two of the default project here now. <coughs> and project manager, those items are of course stored in a file with the exact same name. Uh, this time it lives here in the support directory, sometimes it's located in the root directory of the package. 
But since they both have the same name, they will get merged and that's why they are show, showing up in the same lists. And here we have the project managers items. And I like to, uh, some of these I don't use them either. So this um, project manager command, don't use that. Import, I never use this. Open project, uh, never use that either. Or no, that's the one we switch project with, right? So that can be good. Uh, open project in new window. No way, man. And append project. Don't use that. But here we have useful stuff. Remove project. This uh, is a bit of a hassle otherwise. But with project manager, you just select it here. Get the list. Remove the project. Edit project. I don't need this anymore. Because I will use the built-in uh, edit project function. So we can, even if this is, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. But I, I never use it. Rename project, same here, very, very convenient to be able to rename the projects with, from this menu. Clear recent projects, uh, don't need that. Remove dead projects, I don't know, I think that can come in handy sometimes. These documentation items, these doesn't even work, so I will remove them. And also you can edit the preferences from the, the command palette, I never do that either. And never edit the, the key bindings uh, open that file from here i use this uh, project instead so if i save now Control shift p project and now we get a really nice and slim list here okay let's add a key binding for this uh, edit command if i select it here now it will just open this uh, current sublime project and this edit command it was from the main sublime commands here and one easy way is to just copy this whole line, go to our custom key, key map file that I have uh, located here in Sublime settings user. And we paste this here. And uh, the syntax for key bindings is almost exactly the same as for commands. You just change this caption uh, key to key. S uh, colon and then a list of keys uh, which I like to have this on alt plus p we will talk more about key bindings uh, in a, a later video maybe the next even because I think it's a very important thing to know but they basically look like this you just uh, set the key, uh, the command, and sometimes the commands have an argument. And as you can see here, it's not the command is not edit uh, project. It's open file. It just opens a file. So here, here you can specify a path to a file as the argument. And this is some kind of a built-in sublime variable. I have to look into this a bit because I don't know this so well. But I, I, I suppose this is uh, this variable contains the path to the currently active project file. So if we save here, and now I can hit Alt P, and that will instantly bring bring up this uh, 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 Sublime project file that I'm currently using. And if I do Control Alt P, select GTK3, and do Alt P here, it opens this Sublime project file. So it's really, really convenient, uh, in my opinion, to have it like this. Of course, you can sh have a different uh, key binding, but I just find it logical with Control Alt P, the list Alt P edit, easy peasy. Okay, 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 and we trim the menu and everything. You can, uh, we can shortly just say that main Sublime menu. That's the same thing as this command list, but this uh, the the menu file here that is what's responsible for this uh, menu bar so i think i can actually change this to filer save this and now you can see it immediately changed the the name of, of the filer here so you can edit edit uh, the menu also i i actually never do that i i just like to keep it default and i actually uh hide the hide the menu and and toggle it when, whenever i need it there is a command for that so uh, menu view toggle menu will toggle the menu uh, and of course you can bind that to a key as well with the same method as I used here but I will keep the menu uh, the menu bar visible throughout this video series but in my per personal use I, I toggle it thank you for watching guys um, next video think we will look into snippets and uh, key bindings two
big important topics in the sublime world. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.